Wilson Morales from Black from TV. Hey, folks, how's it going? Hey, <laughs> yeah, how, how you doing? doing? Uh, congrats on the season three coming into it. Um, what is the directive this year? You know, we started off uh, continuing for how last season ended. And then you guys made a quick shift to just, you know, keep it comedy, comedy, comedy. You know, uh, so can you talk about how you wanted to just not continue uh, uh, from just last year and then shifting it so that way it's every episode is something different? I let him do, do that. He did all of that. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, season two for us was such a uh, heavy season. It was hilarious, but it was really, really heavy. So uh, we wanted to kind of dedicate season three while we're dealing with the idea of Pat growing and trying to balance a comedy career and being a wife and being a mother and the families growing each other in their own right. We really wanted to do like a, this is the I Love Lucy homage season. Uh, I'm a big fan of I Love Lucy and I always wanted to make my own Lucy and Ethel. And, and thankfully we were able to get that with Pat and Denise. Uh, so we want to lean into the comedy of that a little bit this season while we still deal with some serious topics and some issues, but but it's definitely a, a bust of gut season. <laughs> what about Miss Pat? How, you know, how I don't want to say it's challenging. Being a comedian is challenging. It's enough to try to make people laugh and entertain. But you, you know you have to come up with something new every episode, you know, so that you can still keep the laugh meter at a certain level. You know, what goes into the, the plot that's going to be brought on? <clears throat> well, we have a writing room. Thank God for that. I only contribute contribute stories. I come in with a story. And a lot of times, to be honest with you, Jordan already have the season pretty much 60% mapped out. So we get together and we go over it and we hear what everybody else got to say. And bam, we got a, you know, we, we, got, a, we got a season. Yeah. We don't sit in a room. 20 hours like most no, people do because no. we know what we want to do no. we he jordan know the shows we make sure we hire writers that know the shows and i'm gonna make sure the voice stays you know as original as possible and with a few other jokes and jordan jumping out of trees and telling us other things to do <laughs> <laughs> you know we start the season off with miss pat one on tour so how much goes into what people who've done this you know in real life into the show uh, that, that episode is pretty, what, about 80% real? Mm -hmm. I just, again, I told him a story about opening for comedians that didn't treat you right, and bam, there we is with episode, what was it, episode three? three? Two and three. Yeah, yeah, two and three. We wanted to tell, like, what, what, what women have to really go through, or uh, young comedians have to really go through to, you know, to get on. And so he showed that in episode three. Mm -hmm. You know, congrats, obviously, on the Emmy nomination, the first BET after all of these years. You know, when you when you get that sort of recognition, do you mentally try to say, OK, it's one, but we're not going to change who we are? You know, do you, did you think about that for a second, Jordan? I, you know, what's interesting is I never even related it to like the material, like wanting to change. I think and that, that I think what helps to that is the fact that it was the first season that got nominated and it was just us being our most authentic selves. And I think that thankfully we can't help but be authentic. <laughs> we can't help it. Uh, and I think that it's just the Emmy nomination just really showed that, oh, no, there is there is a market out there for this type of television. We were doing something new. We were doing something innovative. And the fact that the Television Academy recognized it was just was just icing on the cake of creativity. And we <clears throat> sure ain't going we sure ain't gonna change to win no trophy because, you know, no. I can go back to track and field. <laughs> you know talk about talk about change you know as the show continues with writers and directors and actors how would you say your skill set has evolved as you know the showrunner creator and as producers and as actors jordan yeah uh for me i think that one just just generating fast you know i'm i'm a i'm a playwright first so usually with a play it's like you got time for it to marinate sit it in the jar let it soak up some vinegar you know what i mean really let it let it age in that way and on television it's like you got to you got to move with just as much just as much um uh, creativity and just as much uh, authenticity and quality inside of that job, but you got to move a little bit faster. And as a showrunner, it's like, you know, you got to be able to write, write these stories and direct, but also put out fires on the producer side of things. So it's like, you got to kind of be an octopus. And I think I, I'm growing new tentacles with each, each episode, which is, which is something that I'm grateful for, for sure. Cause they be trying to cut his tentacles off. 
<laughs> How about you, Miss Pat? You know, uh, obviously, you know, we, we always want to see growth in any character, you know, but when you look at your character, what would you say, you know, and you have a big say into this that you wanted to see grow with Miss Pat? Um, and with yourself as an actor. Oh, I've grown a lot as an actor, because child, when they first gave me this job, I was just saying lines and stuff. You should have seen how uh, Jordan was looking at me. He said, thank God the people around you can act. <laughs> but <laughs> I, 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 I think I've grown a lot as an actress. Um, I've learned, I didn't realize you had to connect to the person or connect to the your co-stars and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I've, I learned that in the second season. And and I'm beginning to like actor, being an actress. I, I mean, I'm, comedy is my first, but over the last three seasons, I've, it's really grown on me. Good. And, and with and with the guidance of Jordan, because he's honest, he'll come and tell me, "Uh, uh Miss Pat, you got to do it this way, you got to do it that way." I mean, sometimes to the point where I just want to quit, but he pushes me. So I think every episode, he he helped me elevate it. And the one thing <laughs> that you can never call Pat is lazy. You know, you you go to a lot of shows and and actors, especially in TV. There's a lot of lazy actors, but but we don't have that on our set. And I think it helps that because we we do treat it like a play. We rehearse Monday through Thursday and then on Friday, we got a live audience, but there is no phoning it in. There is no, you know, and Pat has all these different jobs, but yet she still finds a way to come in and give it her all. And, and she's just watching her morph into becoming the great actress that she's becoming. It's just a beautiful thing to watch. Because we truly believe it starts from the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jordan, I want to say congrats on the Broadway show. I did get to see it, you know, so uh, we get to talk briefly and so forth. But, you know, there's a lot of uh, programs on nowadays on TV, whether it's streaming, cable, network. Obviously, you got theater, you got films. Uh, with the recognition that the show has gotten, you know, there's a lot more eyeballs. What would you say for a new audience coming in uh, that's going to help them stick around and watching the show if they don't have time to have seen the previous two seasons? Mm, I would say just, just dive in and get ready to laugh, get ready to, you know, feel like you're watching those old school on the family, the Jeffersons, a good times, Fresh Prince Lucy, Martin. Bro. It's oh yeah. I love Lucy. It's, it's all these things that you could just turn on TV land. You could turn on UPN. You could turn on CBS and just laugh with your family. And that's really what the Miss Pat show is. You could jump in wherever you want to jump in and hopefully wherever you want to jump in makes you want to go back and watch the other two seasons, you know? Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful that we get to really bring back that old school, like actually laughing out loud at a sitcom and it's not a, somebody pressing canned laughter it's a live studio audience when you watch our episodes you're gonna hear somebody say hell no you're gonna hear somebody you know talk back to the actors which is you know what we do and it's been years since we've seen that on a sitcom so so it's something really really special we're we're one of the few sitcoms that are on television right now that still has a live studio audience so that's something that we're proud of. And I think people will feel that when they watch it. And we always say, take your medication first and put on your panty liner because it's about to be a ride. It is indeed. Congratulations both, you know, on the success of the show, on the performances. I'm sure we'll talk again next season. So keep it going. We're always here to support. Take Thanks care. Thanks so much, Thank Wilson. You. Thank you. <laughs> Wilson Miles from Black From TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? All right. How are you? Good. It's always good to come back. Season three, job stability. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like now that, you know, obviously the show has gotten acclaim, having be, be the first show from BT to get a nomination, at least an Emmy nomination. Uh, what are we looking for as people start to watch season three starting today? More. <laughs> <laughs> more fun, more yeah. life challenges, uh, uh, deeper, wider, farther, closer. <laughs> All of the above. Just All of the above. Popular. This, I will say, season three is a lighter season. You mm -hmm. know, it's it's more uh, situational comedy situations than just dealing with you know uh, Pat's story and healing from trauma, etc. Although there's still, you know, we, of course we're gonna go deep. We can't help it. But that's it's right. definitely a, a lighter season, so that's fun. Oh yeah, you know, obviously, you know, last season ended off with a little bit of a cliffhanger, and we walk into it this season. I'm like, okay, we're gonna get. A, a melodrama show from a comedy, you know, uh, right. but that's what comedy is all about. People bring in their personal issues, you know, to the forefront that other right. people can relate to. So coming into season three, is there anything different that we're getting from your characters as we're evolving, you know, more and it gives a chance for the writers to flesh it out, you know, Brittany? 
Um, so I would say for Ashley, what you're seeing her deal with is being newly single, you know, after dealing with a, a bad breakup in season two and just seeing her explore what it looks like to navigate the world out, you know, with her family's acceptance. And now how can she learn to accept herself and, and find, you know, the right person for her. I also think you see her get to be more involved and hands on with her siblings as the big sister because she moves closer to home. And so that that helps her just be around more, be in the mix more and uh, keep an eye on on everything. She's still trying to be everything to everyone. Ashley is still that person, but just seeing her be closer to the family. <laughs> what about you, Jay? Does your character get to be like, OK, you know, uh, Pat's on tour. I get to live free a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um... Well, you know, on that same tangent, uh, you know, Pat goes away and, uh, you know, just dealing with her, uh, her ascension um, uh, in her in her medium, uh, which is stand up comedy, which we're all very proud of as a family. But then always. In the, but at the same time, understanding how to uh, trust and receive uh, support and help uh, as the provider uh, of the family while, while she's away um, and being able to, you know, uh, dive more into relationships with. My, my children individually uh, is what I really love about this season. You get the chance to just really see us deal with each other, uh, um, you know, outside of just the conglomerate as a whole, as Brittany was saying, just dealing with uh, uh, Pat and her journey. We get to see every one of us deal with certain things and bring it together once again uh, as a family. Um, so you get to see that. You get to see me deal with some issues uh, from help from another individual that, you know, Pat probably would not confide in for me to confide in um in another woman uh and dealing with that type of thing and that trust uh, uh with that um so once again life issues that's so relatable um and we're always able to find the the the, the joy out of the darkness mm -hmm. this season obviously you know when you do more episodes you work with different writers and directors mm -hmm. as actors you know when you're playing the same role how would you say you've grown in as far as how, how much of your skill set as actors have grown as you continue to do this series? Brittany? Uh -huh. mm, I would say, you know, we're playing the same characters, but the situations always change. You know, you're always having something new and fresh thrown at you that your character has to navigate. It's a lot like life. And so I think you grow uh, by default, you know, it's just like when life throws different situations at you, you have to find a way to meet the situation, navigate it and move beyond it. And I feel like it's the same thing with uh, this show and these characters. We're throwing all different <laughs> sorts of things. Um, I'm thinking specifically of, some, of something that happens in season three with uh, Pat and Tammy's characters. Uh, and I don't want to give too much away, but like having an allergic reaction. And I just remember even that, like them having to navigate uh, that moment and acting through, you know, all sorts of prosthetics and things like that. And it's like, we're, we're always throwing different things that cause us to grow and challenge our instruments and our characters. <laughs> what about you, Jay? I, I tell you what, brother, patience, um, having short-term memory um, in the sense of uh, once again, like Brittany was saying, you know, we're throwing so many things in the moment that, you know, you can't hold on to one a uh, uh, tactic or, 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 or given circumstance that's happening, well, not given circumstance, but objective that's happening within the given circumstance. Uh, in it come, uh, different directors coming in and out, understanding how to adapt to their style and their vision of how they want the episodes to go and how they want these characters to be relayed through that inanimate object. You know what I mean? Um, bringing in different guest artists and, and vibing with their energy and welcoming, welcoming them into the flock of the Miss Pat Show family. Uh, so for me, it's, it's, it's about uh, patience, uh, short-term memory, and learning how to continue to make things fresh for myself. Um, I think that's very important. I think that's it's great that I do come from a, a theater background where we have to, you know, we're doing eight shows a week and you have to find a way to keep things fresh for different audiences every day when you do a show. So I feel the same thing spliced in with this, uh, this part of the medium um, and where with, you know, dealing with different directors, different guest artists, uh, different scenarios each week, finding a way to make it fresh, finding a way to short term memory, letting those things go to open up the avenue for the new fresh ideas that one comes comes with every day. You know, speaking of fresh, you know, 
every time you get a new season, which is great. But you know, we're in a realm where there's a lot of product now on TV, streaming, network, cable. If you have a ch- option to go to the movie theaters, there's so many options, which is why everybody's always complaining about ratings are down because we have a lot more options than you know, obviously a year before, 10 years ago, and so forth. What's going to get an audience to watch this show, especially now that people have, you know, this is the show that got recognized by the Emmys and it got highlighted. So you're going to get a new audience, hopefully, you know, a bigger audience watching it now. What's mm-hmm. going to get people to watch the show? They're going to obviously, especially if they don't have time to go back to see season one or two, but they're just going to pick up from season episode one of season three. That's a, hey man, that's a really great question. I, I'm going to just continue to bounce off of relatability. Um, seriously, any anybody from any background, ethnicity, if they know, if they've never seen this show before and they so happen to catch it, what, the, what I think was going to keep them there is the content that we deal with, and the content that we deal with is something that everybody can relate to. Once we get them in there, then every, it's a domino effect. We got them. We caught. We got you in the web. You know, and you want to going to want to see more and more and more and keep eating and keep eating and let us keep feeding you and feeding you. So relatability. Mm-hmm. And before I let you go, Brittany, is your character going to get a love interest at the end of the season? Or are we <laughs> staying single? You know, you know she's single for long. She's single. She's living her best single life. I think you'll see her try. And, you know, she's on the journey. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Folks, congrats on season three. You know, keep it going. Obviously, congrats on the nominations. And I'm sure they'll get a bigger audience. So season four, we know it's going to happen. We'll talk down the road. Take Thank care. You. Thank, you. Thank you, brother. Well, Smiles from Black Women TV. We're here. Season three. I always like to say it's good job stability. <laughs> you know, <laughs> make it easier, you know, but uh Coming into it, you know, for those who have not caught up with the show, what are we getting from your characters this season? Theo? You're getting, we're getting a whole, we're taking a whole new turn. Junebug mm-hmm. is definitely stepping out of his adolescent. Well, he's still an adolescent, but he's definitely trying to, to knock on the door of adulthood before he is ready. Um, and we definitely get reminded of that all through season three. <laughs> Brianna? Uh, for Janelle, she just, she finds herself letting her hair down a little bit more, having a little bit more fun and getting into some things that she normally would not get into. Yeah, and for, for Brandon, <laughs> he's, he's stepping out of adolescence and stepping into <laughs> adulthood as well. Like, <laughs> he's still adolescent, adolescent in the head. <laughs> so, you know, he's my, he's making a huge turn from, yeah. uh, you know, he's still trying to figure out life. And I, I feel like with uh, this this season, He's definitely stepping into his own and really finding his passion. You know, when you're on a comedy show, and Miss Pat is obviously the, the veteran, um, you know, when you guys come in and as we enter the third season, do you find yourself having to grow funny bones so that when people see you, you know, you just as humorous offset as you are on set? I, I don't feel that pressure because because uh, i'm an actor mm-hmm. not a comedian if i was a comedian and yeah like then you know that my job is to do jokes like mm-hmm. my job is just to <laughs> read some lines and you know convey emotion so right. i don't really have that m- pressure um i'm naturally funny so like yeah when, so um and if anything too you know i feel like if you know people kind of see me on the street or anything like that they kind of come with the assumption that i'm already funny just based off of what they seen. but mm-hmm. i don't really feel added pressure about that what about you theo yeah no I'm, i was gonna say i feel like i'm naturally funny you know i've been told that you know i'm i have somewhat of a smart mouth <laughs> quick comebacks so yeah. you know it's just regular like you Thanks. know it's not really you're not really trying to do anything you're just being yourself mm. uh miss pat's funny bone is Ooh. it's you know at a different level yeah it's a different um, level you know? and i don't even really try i want to try to match but <laughs> you know yeah no I don't, I don't think i really have to to try to but are you Brianna? Could you see yourself getting on stage and you know doing one man, one woman show? I do a one woman show, but not a comic show. <laughs> but uh, I think being on the seasons, it's you for me. You naturally start to pick it up after mm-hmm. a while. Like you can't help it because, mm-hmm. like we said, Miss Pat being who she is, and then our guest stars as well. Like they come in, they're funny, and the cast is funny. So you can't help but to pick that up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to piggyback off of that, Pat actually helps us out a lot with that because she because yeah, in does. the first the first two seasons she will always tell us 
listen for the laugh. Like, yeah. like when they mm-hmm. laugh big, go one, two, three, and come right back yeah. in. So it's a lot of stuff that she even teaches us these past three seasons on how to how to control the audience with the humor. Yeah. Um, that's I've been I think that's we've true. all been able to really experience yeah. that. That's very true. Thinking backing off of that, you know, having now that you're into your third season, it's already done. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, as many episodes and you've worked with different directors and writers. What would you say has evolved from your skill set as actors, you know, as you continue to do this work playing a character? Brianna? Well, that's a good question. I like that question. Um, I would say specifically working with different directors for normally every ep- episode or so. I've learned to adjust more quickly because you don't know what you know what people are looking for and you have that dance between what the actor wants to do with what Mm -hmm. the director wants what the showrunner wants you kind of sometimes feel like I have to please everybody. So when you're working with different directors as far for me, I feel like I'm able to quickly adapt to it and take the note as opposed to like being like okay what do they want me to do okay I got to do this, you know what I mean. Um, because you don't have time to really think. And the next week you're with a whole nother director who has a whole nother vision, who who directs differently, you know what I mean? Who is, who communicates things differently. So I feel like for me, it's definitely helped me as an actor stay on my toes um, and just to be able to adjust. Mm-hmm. What about you, Vince? Yeah, I would, honestly, I would say the same thing, um, Justin. And each director brings something different. Like when we, when Debbie Allen comes, she's really big on timing. Yeah. Um, that that's one thing that I definitely learned as an actor, just even because, you know, comedy is all about timing. And then um, so when she comes in and she just tells us, like, you got to pick up the pace, pick up the timing here, slow down right here, but come in right here like that, that type of pacing working with her, um, I definitely learned. And then you have somebody like uh, Kelly. Kelly, uh, what's Kelly's name? Kelly Park. It's Kelly Park. 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 Yeah, Kelly Park. I love Kelly. Shout out Kelly Park. What's up, Kelly? Yeah, she's um, awesome. She's awesome, and she just comes in blazing. Like, come on, let's try this. Let's mm-hmm. try that. Oh, I like that. Let's add that in. Since she's very collaborative, mm-hmm. um, and so is Debbie too. But she's very collaborative. So it just goes back to what uh, Bree says. You know, just learning to adjust to each director that comes to visit us on set. All right, deal. I would say the prep of the week um i'm big on prep but you know we've had times where we'll get a whole new scene or a scene will be taken out or um you know certain parts of the scene or have been altered or you know the storyline changes or it's like okay you're on board with this now okay no you're on the other side of this now Mm -hmm. so i feel like that has definitely especially on this show because a lot of things change constantly you know the day of the day before you know after we've done reshoots you know on episodes we've done months before you know so i really feel like my my prep work has has improved tremendously you know being here you know as the first scripted show to get a b an emmy nomination you know within Mm -hmm. bt's history there's gonna be a lot of more eyeballs on there now and so I always say we already got a glut of programs between streaming channels and cable and networks. And if you decide to go to the movie theaters, uh, so you don't, we have a lot more options, you know, mm-hmm. but when people hear about this show and they saw the accolades of this get, they're going to be tuning in. What's a good reason for people to start tuning in, especially if they don't have time to go back and watch the previous two seasons? Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, well, I'd say number one, we talk about real things and we hit home with a lot of things that people talk about in their living rooms that might be afraid to really or haven't really seen it on television before but the cool thing is that we cover it with the comedy as well so it's like you're getting a lesson as well as having you're laughing and you know what i mean you you could connect to different characters in the show who's like your mama your grandma your sister your brother you know but you're also getting he you know gems like gem things that we talk about that people should be discussing and probably maybe they're scared to talk about it with their parents or you know what i mean so i feel like with this show no one's really doing it like that as in your face as we do it yeah jordan i jordan and writers especially jordan he does a very good job of pushing the envelope not even just with the comedy but with the topics and even from season one to season two and and now with season three, he 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 knows how to find certain topics that happens within the black community that we all discuss amongst ourselves, but haven't really seen on television yet. And he knows how to write certain things a certain way 
to make you laugh, but then at the same time, um, make you cry, make you think about things and start conversation. So with this season as well, just like with the previous seasons, it's just more, it's different topics that I haven't seen on television yet to be addressed that um, that will be conversation starters. And Jordan does a very good job of finding those topics. So with this season, it's, it definitely got to watch it, especially with Terry's character. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot going on with Terry's character that I believe the audience will definitely enjoy. The more you do episodes and the more the season grows, do you have to, are you guys given the liberty to, to talk to the writers to see maybe you want to do something different with the character? Or is it just more like, here's the script, boom, just do it as it is? Or are you given a chance to, you know, add in your opinions? Theo? <laughs> Nah, it's weird. Um, it's actually the opposite of that. You know, we're very much a a collaborative ship. Um, you know, just Pat and and and, and Jordan are they're driving. You know, but we all definitely they ask us things. You know, what do you think or how would you feel? Um, you know, if this were to to occur, or, you know, do you feel comfortable doing this or what's you know what's the common. What's the middle ground, you know? So it's always, yeah, I think we, yeah. I don't think it's ever been a time like, nah, here's the script, this. No. you're going to do it. Yeah, no. they don't do that <laughs> at all. You know, yeah. so, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, obviously, you know, it's a comedy show. Do you guys watch other comedy shows? Or, you know, actors like to say, I don't have time, you know, but do you guys have time, you know, to watch other shows, that, you know, that come on besides just working for this particular show? Mm-hmm. I watch. I'm a big comedy fan, so yeah, I mean, like sure. Fresh Prince, uh, Martin, yep. I, the, the Richard Pryor show, mm-hmm. uh, um, all of those, all of the, all of those shows. I would even throw it back. Green Acres, like I watch a bunch of Martin, sitcoms. Martin them, and Living yeah. Color, Chappelle's my show, wife and kids, my wife and kids, Bernie Mac show, show, all the old Jamie stuff. Fox show, <laughs> show, Three you know, yeah. Does anybody ever go mm-hmm. into you know? Do you guys ever read you know social media to see what people say about your characters? You know, you guys into it? Nah, I try not to do that. Nah, I don't do <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, it might come across. You, might, you can't see. help it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but once yeah, you get you a little a little taste, you got to yeah, stop. Yeah, you can't yeah, keep because sure. you go deep, deep, and then you're yeah. like, oh, I can't unsee that. So Yeah, when we did the live tweet uh, last year, when we uh-huh. live, live tweet, that's, uh-huh. that was the first time I actually saw. Yeah, because it came like, in. The interaction right, there, yeah, right it would away. come in as they were watching the episode. That was like, cool. oh, Junebug is this, and Brandon's so yeah. stupid. Like, mm-hmm. though, that, that was fun. That's that's yeah. the most I've seen. Well, congratulations, obviously, on the season three. You know, uh, congrats on the accolades that the show has received. I'm sure, you know, that we'll be back again, talk season four. But wherever you guys are at, take care, stay safe. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Appreciate it.